What's going on YouTube? GS Note right here. So in today's video we have some important news about Soric, jailbreaking and some vulnerabilities that have received some write-ups that will definitely be very useful for jailbreaking. But I'm going to start with Soric because it's very important. The pictures you're seeing right now are snapped from a live video that's been up on YouTube just a couple days ago from an event where Soric had to pretty much expose his reasons why he believes that jailbreaking should be legal and why he believes that it should stay legal. Now he is not talking in here only about the iOS jailbreak but the right of a user to pretty much jailbreak his devices he paid for. So it's very important he is actually fighting for this ideology and this is one of the reasons the jailbreaking has been legal for the past couple of years. The first time when it has been uh, ruled as legal it's been in 2012 and after that in 2015 Soric had to testify again in front of the commission and he had to prove again that the jailbreaking is in fact legal and it's not breaching any copyright and therefore the jailbreak is still legal to this point. This is very important without the help of Soric and without you know his points that actually convinced the commission that the jailbreaking itself should be legal and you should be able to modify for personal use a device that you bought, nowadays the jailbreak could have been illegal and you could have been sued by Apple for installing tweaks or the developers of the jailbreak tools could have been sued for creating this kind of stuff, which Apple cannot do nowadays because jailbreaking is legal and therefore the creation of jailbreak tools is legal. This is very important and the reason I'm actually uh, telling you about this is because Soric really fights for this idea and it's what keeps this community real and this is what keeps the integrity of this community. Without him we would pretty much disappear as a community without jailbreak being legal. Imagine if the jailbreak was illegal, there would be no developers who would risk to get sued by Apple and to release jailbreak tools and without jailbreak tools we wouldn't have tweaks, we wouldn't have jailbreaks and therefore the community would pretty much disappear pretty quickly. So this is thanks to Soric that we are able to do this right now, that we're able to jailbreak our devices and that we're able to continue development in this area. So thanks to Soric and press F for respect. I'm going to continue though with something Sparky has posted and this is very important. He linked a um, conference slide from Morpheus, otherwise known as Jonathan Levin, a very important author in our community and the presentation itself talks about the jailbreak techniques, the KPP and many many important things related to the jailbreak. It's called Friends, Countrymen, Lend Me Your Task Port and it's posted by Jonathan Levin. It's been posted just a couple hours ago but it goes to explain quite a lot how the jailbreak tools work, especially the quiling or killing or whatever toolkit that he has created. But in this slide in here, if you're interested in developing a jailbreak or getting into jailbreak development or iOS development, you should definitely read these because they're very, very important and they're very well written. They explain the KPP, which is on pre-iPhone 7 devices. And of course, he also explains the KTRR in here, which is on the iPhone 7 and newer. And it's of course very hard to defeat. And he also goes to talk about other important stuff. On the same note, uh, a new presentation has also been published from Alibaba Mobile Security and this one has been published by Min Spark Zeng and another security researcher whose name unfortunately I'm not able to pronounce. It says, it the core of an apple, how we analyze and find bugs in macOS and iOS kernel drivers. Now this is important because of two reasons. One, because of its informational value, you know it's a lot of information here for those who are getting into this, I mean it's, it's a gold mine for those who are getting into iOS security research and at the same time it's important since if you remember Min Spark Zeng actually said he has a couple kernel vulnerabilities for the iOS 11.3 that are currently kept secret. Now he said that he will submit a talk to a conference about this and if his talk is accepted he will release details about the vulnerabilities that may of course help on an iOS 11.3 and lower jailbreak and this is very important. Now a lot of people say that Min Spark Zeng will not release his vulnerabilities for the general public. Well, this goes to pretty much contradict that idea since this talk in here is apparently featuring him and his findings and it's a pretty detailed one. If we get something like this for the vulnerabilities he has for the iOS 11.3, then it's definitely going to be very
very, very good. So if you're interested in these and if you're interested in iOS security, go ahead and check out this presentation. It's available in the description down below. Check out Jonathan Levin's presentation. It's also available in the description down below and you might be able to understand a couple things about the iOS security and jailbreaking. And do not forget that the reason we're able to jailbreak today is because Soric is fighting for this ideology and for your right to modify the device you bought and for the right of developers to develop these jailbreaks and these tools that help you jailbreak. So huge respect for Soric. Thank you for watching guys. This is pretty much what I wanted to talk about in this video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section down below. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.